Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a truder, welcome back to Subnautica. Well, last time, the world started making a bit more sense, okay? We're starting to put things together. Let's go over what we know, just to make sure I don't miss anything obvious. Number one, there's something in the water. Bacteria. It's infected me, and it's infected everything else too. It's making the animals like, you know, big and bitey and angry and whatever. Two, because of that bacteria, this place is under quarantine. Alright, my ship didn't crash by accident, it was shot down, as is anybody who tries to rescue me. So, yeah, someone is keeping an eye on this situation, but we found the base with one of the big guns on it. It was deserted. So, are the people who actually set up the quarantine still around anywhere? Because something tried to wibble into my brain the other day, and yeah, it seems to be taking an interest in me. I just don't know whether it knows what I am or whether it's even here on the planet. Though on the island over in that direction, he seemed to be under the impression that they don't want you to go deeper. Which is unfortunate because I've just basically discovered the plans for a submarine that will let me go deeper. But today, no, 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 no. I have now got a lace cutter and a fire extinguisher. Now, those are the two things that the game said I'm going to be needing if I want to explore the Aurora. And I have a lead. There's some form of mysterious data on the Aurora that's more important than anything else, which might tell us, yeah, what our mission was actually about because I'm suspicious conspiracy diddly diddly day. Also, as I mentioned at the end of last time, I've made some batteries between episodes. So I've now got spare batteries in case, you know, the Sea Moth or anything else needs a bit more of a new charge. Love it. Okay, and just doing a bit of inventory management before we go. Can't help but notice the radio wants me once again. So, hello there, Mr. Radio. This is LifePod 4. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. And I don't know how long we're going to last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay, I am glad he mentioned the rad suit, because yes, I'd forgotten about that, so that's really bloody convenient, because otherwise I would have gone without the rad helmet. Speaking of which, does anyone remember where I kept the rad helmet? Here we go, I found it. It's in one of my five cocking storage units, so okay, I need either a base or a submarine, because this is getting out of hand storage-wise. And just to save storage space, I'm going to dump the rebreather for the time being, because I'm guessing there's good looting to be had in this part of the world. So, yeah, I've dumped some water. That should hopefully be enough space that I can pull back some valuable stuff with me. Okay, in the submarine. And, uh, yeah, life pod number four. Somewhere near the crash site. Oh. Okay, somewhere near the crash site could mean cocking anything. Because they didn't specifically say this side of the crash site. And there is a giant monster on... A oh, okay. Right. Uh, not sure we're going to be rescuing you bastards, actually. Sorry about that. Yeah, as they said, I don't have a signal for Life Pod 4. I just know it is nearby to the crash site. But I don't really want to be hanging around the crash site too much. There's, you know, giant monster snake around there. What I do know is, yeah, a pretty good way of getting pretty close to the crash site. All right, approach from the shallows, then go over towards the left. Skirt around the outside using the sandbank for safety. Then just try and nip in the rear left corner, like looking at the ship from behind. Because if I go in that way, I didn't really run into, you know, the giant monster like... At all, and hang on. I've seen you before, but out of interest, is there anything I could uh, hack into with you? Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, are you guys maybe openable? And the answer is nope, tragically not. Okay, if we're lucky, then Life Pod 4 could be located in the Juni bits over, over here. Lights off, it's now daylight. Now, did they... Hang on. Did they say they were, yeah, sunk or floating? Because by default, life pods should float. I don't know they're at the bottom. All right. It just seems to be all the ones I've found so far. 
are at the bottom, and there's a nice little ravine down over there, but nothing too dramatic. Hang about. No! Flotation device is active! Okay, so... I mean, logically, they're gonna be up on the surface, right? So if I just do a little hop, I'm a seam off, then... I should be able to see them if they're around here. Okay, useless bastards aren't this side, which is the only safe side because it's shallow. So, I mean, I'm going to be honest, guys, you're on your cocking own. If you're going to be in terrifying murder territory, I ain't coming for you. But still, just stay in the shallows uh, and do the hops. Keep your eye out for anything that... Oh, hang about. Well, there's something over there. It's... It's a bit too much in the open water. In territory, I've seen murder snakes in the past. We've got to give it a go. All right, do a little bit of a bunny hop right there. Okay, so... How deep is this? That's just a sand shark. It's fine. Eyes open. There she is. Yep, there she is. Four. And I'm not... I'm not seeing anything too big and terrifying. So she ended up upside down. That's absolutely fine. I say that's absolutely fine. We're literally in giant murder snake territory. I don't approve of any of this. Cut on myself to kit. But, it's box and creature decoy. Acquired. Now, how big a creature does that work on? Because uh, if that works on, you know, mega snake, that could be rather useful, actually. Jack, keep your eyes open over here. So this is, oh, blimey. Okay, so things get deep in this part of the world, and uh, I don't see massive bastard McGee anywhere. Yeah, I think we're good, though. Bloody hell, the sea is terrifying because visibility is poor. Right, back to the shallows. Back to the cocking shallows. Let's not, you know, take that for granted. Back to the bit where it presumably can't get because it can't fit itself because it's too cocking big. Okay, so we're going up the back of the ship now. I've seen all this before. All we need to do is... Yeah, I hear the rumbling. I know. I know, buddy. So I've seen that. You can't get through there. I need to go around the corner and then... Oh! There she is. But I think she's actually further away than she looks. Just getting over here. Fast as you can. Get up. Alright, presumably it can't get to me. If I'm like, you know, in the shallows. Or whatever, so just in the shallows. There we go. A little bit of a light knock, but she ain't getting to me now. We've made it back to the Aurora. This is definitely the safe way to go. Now, have the stupid crabs regenerated? That's the important thing. Because... Good! I think they haven't. Okay, now they said uh, bring a fire extinguisher. Yes, radio, we'll be back to you in a second. Uh, so what needs putting out precisely? So it looks like... Okay, those fires aren't going out. I shouldn't waste the fuel. So, okay. Save that for when I can actually... No, not right now. Save that for when I can actually see something behind fire I want to get hold of. Because they said uh, laser cutter and uh, flamethrower. No, not flamethrower. Uh, fire extinguisher. The opposite of a flamethrower. Don't bring a flamethrower. There's enough fire here already. That'd be fine. So, presumably, what I'm looking for is, yeah, one of those doors with lights on it that I have uh, seen before. So, alright. This is where I got to last time. Let's put a bit of fuel on that. Is that doing anything? I'm... I'm not convinced it is. So, okay, hang about. There's... Oh, hang on. There's more around here. Okay, hang on. I think I just missed a bit of the ship last time I was passing through. So, I'm guessing there might be some more little crabs as need stabbing around in this part of the world. Yeah, I didn't... Oh, blimey. The flip was... Okay, no trouble, mate. No trouble. I'm just passing through. So, yeah. Didn't open this box. So, disinfected water. I'll drink that right now. Why not? And I'll take a knife as well, because, yes, there's more cocky... No, 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 no. I'm sick of you guys. All right, you are very annoying, because you're not really a threat to my health. You barely do any cocking damage, but you do still get in the way a bit. So, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. We have got ourselves... There's a fire extinguisher here, isn't there? Right, so I didn't actually need to bother bringing that. First aid kit. Probably going to be needing that sooner rather than later. And... Is that another crab? I thought I heard a crab, so... Okay. Now, over to this old girl. Can we put fire out? Like, a little bit. Oh, 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 no, then I'm on fire. This is the worst fire extinguisher. It doesn't really seem to be very good, like, putting out fire. Like, it needs a lot of fuel to put out any fire. What? So, there we go. Right, we're making a bit of progress there. Open that up. Take the item that's on fire. That was a battery. Okay, well, I just made some of them. But we're definitely somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to be honest. I could have... Oh, blimey. There's... Is that dust? I thought that was a sprinkler system. Aurora nope, never mind. Are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Okay, black box data. This sounds important stuff. And uh, hang about here. Think there's going to be stuff to scan, would you believe? Propulsion cannon. Nope, got one of them. We are golden, so shouldn't have scanned that. That's just titanium I don't need. Abandoned PDA. Okay, let's figure out what's uh, going on in the world right now. Okay, nothing dramatic, just two engineers who named a drone and talking about, yeah, the difference between uh, repulsion and propulsion cannons. Which one have I got, by the way? Because I can't actually remember which is the one I've got. Propulsion! Okay, that's probably useful. So, okay, admin. That seems like a good place to start, potentially. Everything's kind of uh, on fire and falling apart here. I don't have much fuel. I don't have a spare... Uh, thing. So just, yeah, keep that fire out. Go out. Right. Out you go. Out you go, please. Does that get me? Okay, maybe be careful what you are and aren't putting out, because uh, some stuff, yeah, this is important to put out. The other stuff, not so much. And now, now that's useless. So, okay, dump that. I've got another one. So, okay, seriously, those go down fast, actually. Right, just, just fire, fire extinguisher. I, I fire extinguished not efficiently there. Right, over to here. Over to here. Are you now out? And oh, I'm still a bit on fire. There was a tiny, tiny bit of fire. I didn't bother to... No, out. What about you? You guys okay? Is that out? Did that need to be out? I'm not sure that needs to be out, but whatever. So, okay. What needs scanning in the world? More abandoned PDAs. Uh, some of these might be useful. Notes to self. Okay. Here we are in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate. Yes. Uh, what's his face from the canteen mentioned that. So uh, I assume this is like, you know, warp gates in the future. You want to open up a new system. You send a ship there slowly. Then when it gets there, it builds the phase gate. So everyone else can just get there instantaneously. So, okay. Fair enough. Install phase gate. Send ships. Mine resources. Build more expensive ships to install fancier phase gates. So, uh, all right, yeah, that seems to be what's going on here. And then use birthday, 40 weeks before we get home, 400 weeks before it feels like we get home, 1454 cargo bay code. Useful. Still on the plus side, I'm guessing normally you'd scan this stuff, but I've already, like, scanned a desk and whatever elsewhere, so... Oh no, this looks important, and to be honest with... Uh, yeah, a fire extinguisher right there. I could have got this the first time I was here, I just didn't realise it was here, so marvellous. And, uh, data downloads. Old Terra launches uh, the Aurora. Okay, this should give me more information, though it might be a cover story. There is something going on in this part of the world, some weird data or something. Here we go, so yeah, pretty much what I thought. We're in a really obscure bit of space. We're dropping off a phase gate, which is going to make it easier to mine the area, and specifically kind of, you know, leapfrog around uh, other corporations who are also trying to mine the area. We just kind of got there first and thus can do it more efficiently. So, uh, okay. But there's more to it, isn't there? Secret data. Black boxes. That's just the public story. Oh, and one other battery round the back too. I shan't say no to that because uh, some equipment is starting to get a bit on the low side already. Some of this stuff is... Uh, yeah, quite power intensive, actually. Oh, and there's like a poster. Okay, I've picked up a poster. Oh dear, I should have... Should I have read the poster first? I straight up can't find that in the data bank. It looked like it was a giant robot. So, okay, if it's relevant, I'm sure it'll come up again later. So, okay. That's all we got here. This area might not be that big. 1454 to get into, yeah, Cargo Bay 3. So, 
Keep going this direction. Not sure I can get through up there. So, in which case, hang about. We've got ourselves uh, more stuff right here. More batteries. Seriously, the game is just tossing batteries at me. So, just make my way around to... No, I always assume that's my crouch button. But it's not. It's a uh, screenshot. So, uh, all right, the jump. The notes specifically said what you need to do. Pay attention to the notes. They did mention this. So, okay. Okay, 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 buddy. And there you go. Over in that direction. And we are... There we go. We are through. Marvellous. So, okay. Don't just need... Wait, can I have laser cut at that? Because the game said, hey, you're going to need fire extinguisher and laser cutter. Kind of a note that so far I haven't needed a laser cutter. But I have needed, like, either propulsion or... Or repulsion. So, okay, there's... Ooh, is this where the laser cutter comes in? Because I'm guessing it is, unless... Oh, hang on. I could possibly just cut through that. But no, screw it. I know the codes. So, one, four, five, four. That is correct. Door is open. And uh, here we go. One of the cargo bays. So, all right, now this. This has got to be where the good stuff is. A nutrient block spectacular. Uh, okay. Just be aware some things are on fire, and that may or may not be, like, good. Uh, how much of this do I actually need to, to put out, by the way? I don't know how much of this is important versus not. Check all the boxes. Alright, there's got to be something good in here, because... Uh, well, actually... No, seriously, what was the laser cutter for? Did I just misread that? I swear the game said to me, well, you're going to be needing a laser cutter to properly explore this area. Haven't needed it yet. Oh, okay. There's more down below. There might be a chance for a laser cutter yet. And for the time being, uh, hello over there. That's just more public facing data. That's not necessarily going to tell me the truth. Oh, but during a period called the expansion, I supplied arms to all sides. So, okay. Ulterra might potentially be decks. Got it. And yes, as a corporate state, it seems to be operating almost like, say, a franchise. Like, each individual nation or colony is franchised off Altera Because you can do what you want, but you've got to brand it Altera And profitable businesses are bought out by the corporate state. So, okay, that's, a, that's an interesting uh, way of doing things. Alright, so, so far, we've learnt a lot of interesting, useful stuff, but... The amount of new technology we've got is uh, somewhat limited. All right, just give this a bit of uh, a wibble just to make sure this is as it should be. Just, you know, in case there's anything good. I'm almost out of fuel. Save this. All right, there might be a fire as needs putting out that's more urgent down the line. I mean, okay, I've found some water and whatever, but for the most part, I've managed to explore an entire cargo bay without finding... a. Uh, one bit of technology to scan. So, well, cooking done, Steve. Right, bit of food and water. Dive a little bit deeper because, yeah, I've got a good tank on me. So, we should be in a pretty good position to potentially do a bit of uh, underwater McJibbles. Uh, drive room, uh, Seamoth. Okay. It's a bit bigger than I thought. But it's also... Ah! Underwater. That means it's not going to be on fire. Because that's how fire and water works. Marvellous. So, uh, keep on keeping on. Uh, more food. Single... Oh, hang on. What the cock are you... Oh, that's a... It's called a bleeder and I don't like that. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Um, 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 uh, uh. Okay, I kind of thought we were safe. But there's a thing called a bleeder and it appears to be a problem. Uh, ha, ha. Okay. I don't, I don't like... I don't like them. Because... The drive oh. shielding. Sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. Do I have those qualifications? I seem pretty good at mending things, to be honest. Okay, I'm not sure they can get to me where I am. I'd like to give them a scan, because when you scan them, you often learn about, you know, what their weaknesses are. So, I kind of need to... Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, buddy. I think they just live in that room. All right, that is a bleeder. Give me information. A simple parasite, not really more complex than a space tech. Okay, so... Anything we can do. Low speed, poor defense. So, okay. Fair enough, just 
avoid or incapacitate. Nothing dramatic, don't worry about them though. To be honest, they did do a fair whack of damage to my health bar right there, dear oh flippin' dear. No, 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 another one just cocky jumped on me. They're bloody irritating these bastards. Okay, hang about. I think we might just need to stab them. These guys might just need stabbing with the old stabbing stick. So I said no. Have a bit of a looksy round. Uh, now we've got them taken care of. Uh, sorry, those guys freak me out a bit. Like, yeah, sea worms, not, not a fan. Not a fan of that. Sea moth bay. Okay, I was definitely supposed to come here, like, earlier. Because all of this stuff, yeah, feels like... Oh, hang about. Damage warning use. Oh, repair tool. Okay, once again, that's not a tool I thought I needed for this area. But what can you do, eh? So that's that fixed. Open door. Maybe get out knife. Anyone in here need a stabbing? Okay, I think we're fine. Uh, so, okay, this was the Seamoth room, which I'm guessing means that all these components are going to be like uh, Seamoth. Yes, yeah, Seamoth fragments. Okay, so this is just a, a free Seamoth if you need one of them, if you come here, like, first. Though there's also, hang on, Seamoth depth module. Oh, my. I can make my sea moth better. And is this all just... Yeah, it's all just sea moth. And I'm pretty sure just that alone would get you a full sea moth. And an improved one. So, okay. Now, it can go a bit deeper. Which would have made life much easier down in those cocking caves. With the eels that bit me. Because, yes, going just 10 meters lower would have been amazing. Alright, back in this direction. Now, let's do the drive core last. Prawn Bay. That's, that's just rubbish. And locker room. Alright. Nothing we can do here. Finally! Finally the cocking door needs cutting open. Alright, buddy. It just opened that. Seriously, this thing, it eats power. But then again, this place is just full of batteries, so it's fine. And be ready, because, uh, yeah, at some point there's going to be a door where the pressure each side is not equivalent. Then there's going to be vacuuming one way or the other. Get the knife ready. Yeah. Anybody need a stab? Someone needs a stabbing! I think it might have just been rubbish, actually. Or I'm imagining things. Like, you know, one way or the other. So, alright. Locker room. Check the locker rooms for notes and whatever. And here we go. The secret secondary mission, I'm guessing. Search and rescue. So, uh, Mongolian vessel, Degasi. Okay, so, uh, them we found. So, uh, alright, uh, Joki Kassar. Do I remember? No, that's the contact who I wouldn't know. That's the guy in the, uh, the quarters. That's not the guy who was actually on the planet. So, uh, they went down, we were looking for them, and, yeah, we just got got by the same space gun. Ah, that explains who the important person was in the mushroom forest. The really important guy. It was him. He was the Mongolian lad who was looking for his countryman, Gotats. And obviously we weren't doing this out of the goodness of our hearts. It was a way of, you know, making friendly with the Mongolian corporations who the previous note said we're kind of in competition with. So uh, calming that down, getting a couple of favours, maybe some leverage... Okay, I see what they were doing, yes. Right, just grab some oxygen, because don't forget that's actually a thing that exists and that I need to live. Check the rest of the lockers, there might be some more here, especially if the locker of, you know, a senior person might be available. Hello over there, this looks kind of important. You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year, you've never taken a ride on the outside, now you've gone and gotten yourself a friend with the keys to a giant freaking robot suit. Okay, the- ah! That's what a prawn is. Okay, a prawn's like power armor for me. So, Seamoth's a baby sub, Cyclops is a mega sub, I'm wearing like, you know, baby's first scooper gear, but I can fit myself out with power armor. Okay, that's what I need. Tank missiles, Gatling gun, let's tear some Reapers apart. And we've got a code. So, cabin 1, code is 1869. Alright, so there's no way up through here. Only way to go is towards uh, the prawn, babe. We now know what a prawn is. It's power armor. So, uh, 
I'm guessing this is going to be locked behind something, you know, a bit more advanced than what I've got. But, I mean, never say, oh, please tell me I've got enough of an actual charge. And uh, there's the prawn bay. Nope, never mind. Uh, I don't need to put out this fire anyway. Instead, I just need... Okay, hang on, is that... Nope, that's repair. Hang about. Just a quick bit of wibbling gets that back up to attention. That opens the door. Okay, nope. What was that? Just a bit of debris. It's fine. So, okay. We've now got ourselves uh, potentially something very important. Though this water looks a bit electric -y. Now, I'm no water technician or electrician, but electricity plus water, generally bad, I believe. Picking up a faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. Okay, the, the hull breach. You might need to be a bit more specific. You mean like up? Because it looks like there's a hull breach up, but a lot of stuff is kind of on fire. Anyway, for the time being, oh, this is it. This is the thing right here. This is, uh, this is the golden cocking goose prawn suit. All right, give her a scan. I'm guessing prawn suit mark three. And, oh, I'm going to be needing a lot more of that. So, yeah, this is power armor for me. But any more for any more? Like, say, scanning the the arms? No, that's not going to do a thing. So, okay. That gives me a bit of an objective. There's a lot of cocking fire around here, by the way. Also, this looks like it could be a hull breach too, potentially. So, okay. There's a little underwater maze right over here. Now, they said black box might be around here somewhere. Just avoid the electricity. See what we got. Because maybe it fell where it wasn't supposed to be or something. Oh, and this is good. Okay, I found one new fire extinguisher down over here. Because there's a bit more stuff on fire than I was anticipating. Stay over here. Eyes are open. So far, I've not really found anything good down under this area. There must be something down here. Oh, hello. Okay, at the back and to the right of this underwater area, there's a path. I can see a way through to something. Except it's kind of... Okay, hang about this. Oh, oh, yes. Yes check for stabby things. I think we might have almost made it to uh, the black box. This looks good. This looks really good. That's a console. This could be like the bridge or something. I'm not sure. Just check for we gold them. Alright. Back this way. Check you. Take that. Yet more cocking batteries. We'll be back for you in a second, buddy. Okay. This thing might be bigger than I thought, actually. Here we go, and uh, black box, spectacular. Okay, so what we already know, because we've seen the massive space gun, they were shot. Everyone tried to evacuate, but life pod on starboard, they got a bit screwed over. So that didn't necessarily work. Captain Hollister tries to bring the ship in. Honestly, he kept her in one piece. Well done to that lad. 25 pods launched. However, that doesn't mean 25 actually landed. Emergency bounce back received from eight pods. I think I found, uh, I don't know, five? Possibly five so far. So, okay. I'm doing okay on that front. Human life signs detected at long range at T plus eight hours. One. Which I'm guessing is me, right? Presumably, that'd be me. Now, however, there is somebody missing. Riley Robinson. All right, and then rescue solution received in the captain's quarters. Monitoring failed at 13 hours after, presumably, the event. So, okay. Nothing like, you know, too sinister or corporate conspiracy there. Just kind of what we already knew, because I think I'm doing this in the wrong order, but what can you cocking do, eh? So, all right, if we go back over in this direction, is this a, yep, this is a cutty door. So that's fine. We can just chop this open. Hopefully, this is the captain's cabin, right? Because it seems to be right by what I assume is the bridge. 
Right, just deal with you. That falls open. Right, straight through here. And oh, blimey. Okay, I'm going to be honest. This does not look like the captain's cabin. Uh, by any chance would this be... Okay, well, I know one code. I know precisely one code. They gave me the code uh, 1869. And go. No. I can't cut that open either. Okay. Just work around the... Never mind, there's a hole in the wall, we're fine. And there's also a PDA. This might give me a code. Lab access. So, uh, 6483. Spectacular. Now the lab. That's gotta be a place that's full of, you know, exciting, sexy scan technology. There we go. Get that in. Unlock. Any chance of... Okay, I could do with some oxygen. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, into the lab. Uh, fortunately, yeah, some stuff is still uh, functioning. So, ooh, microscope non-functional, but I can't bring that with me because my sample analyzer. That I've already got. Possibly this stuff is just like, you know, for show. It's not really useful. Oh, a counter. I now know how to make a counter. Spectacular. I can make a really nice kitchen in my submarine. Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Okay, repulsion cannon. I think I've already got one of them, because as I say, I think I could have come here earlier. So, all right, more oxygen, then we're pushing on. Okay, far side of the lab, it gets me to, yes, this room I could have got to anyway. So there's John. There was air right here, but whatever. Uh, so, okay, nothing around the back of uh, this room. Instead, up and around, and this is why we have a new fire extinguisher. Got it. Okay, wrap up the old fire extinguisher first. We may as well just, you know, keep on, keep on keeping on. Just burn this one to nothing and... Okay, no, go over to the, go over to the new one before the fires, like, start again. Just no, out. You need to put them properly out, otherwise they will come back. We good? I think we're good. All right, so keep on keeping on. That's the sky! Okay, wasn't really expecting that, but yet more batteries. By any chance could I... Ooh! Can I make myself a shortcut at this point? So hang about. Just get that over there. And just just, just leave it, actually. Just just leave it right there. Okay, and go. Oh, blimey. Okay, just, just grab. Grab this. That's not moving. Okay, how about this. Just, just blast it. There we go. Now can I get in and out? Yes, I've got a shortcut. I don't know why I'd need to come back here, but there is still one way I haven't gone. Also more fire extinguishers. Okay, just take them, because I've got the space for it, and I can dump the empty ones in a second. In fact, I can dump one of the empty ones right now. Okay, so I'm back to where I was. There's a door here that I can't get up to. Hang on, if I just go... Can I bunny hop up onto this platform? The answer appears to be no. I don't think I can get that door open. But if I retrace my steps back to the prawn bay, so just back through the pipes at the rear, thankfully the game did flag, hey, explore this area nice and thoroughly. So that ended up working out very nicely indeed. I've now got 10 million fire extinguishers, so we can, yeah, more clearly see what's going on with the, oh, 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 yeah, 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 that's, that's fine. Just, just put all that out too, please. Put all that out too. That looks like prawn suit fragment number two. Okay, can I have just... What do you mean, unpowered? Unpowered? It's... They've never needed to be powered before. Hang about, I've scanned unpowered stuff. You need me to, to power this up potentially? Okay, just... Yeah. Hang about. You want... You want power plugging in, do you? Hang about. Hang about. John. John, 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 John. I can't put batteries in. Okay, I thought I was being really clever right there. But yeah, if I could just find a way of building a power cell they take. That is uh, three of the four scams I need uh, right there. Which seems like the sort of thing the game's trying to imply I should be able to do. So, okay. 
keep an eye on that. I need different power cells. Still, I've made it to this whole area. There's some more water. Lovely. And more stuff to scan to by the looks of it. Okay, hang on. What do you want me to scan, buddy? You want me to scan something? John, what's the thing that actually needed power? The scanner. Because I think it was the... I apologize in full, but I think the thing that might have needed scanning was... Okay, it was not... It was not these things that needed power. It was my scanner that needed... Okay, it's fine. All right, it, I'm very sorry. Let's just uh, scan all of these. I didn't even realize this thing had battery. I thought it was just infinite because there's more of these guys. Oh, this is... I've got the prawn suit schematic. Because there's another two of these bastards uh, right over here. So just uh, work around all of this for a second. Uh, get underneath you, buddy. I honestly thought this thing didn't take batteries. I just thought it was a freebie. Because, you know, it was your scanner. Oh, prawn suit. Right, I'm guessing that's tricky to, um, to build, though. We'll see in a second. I think what it is, is because, yes, everything else says power when you select it. The scanner doesn't. That's what got me. That's where I got myself a bit confused. Oh, and now we're just swimming in food and drink. I love it. Now just scan some bar furniture just to make sure I know how to put together a really nice base and whatnot. Inventory is literally full. Okay, I brought too much with me. Dump the titanium. Don't need that. Some batteries have got to be empty at this point, right? Yeah, that's empty. I do arguably have too many batteries. All right, that's that's enough batteries. I'd rather have a, a really good food thing to take with me if I'm going a very long way. Because nutrient blocks are like, you know, 75 a go. That's kind of nice. So just skirt around all of this. Just scan a command chair. Very fancy way of saying chair, to be honest. Just looks like a chair to me, but whatever. And I'm having the Keep Calm Space Kitty poster, obviously. Right, keep on keeping on. Need to find that last area where I know there's going to be... Well, you know what? First aid kits are in no short supply. Let's just get myself up to uh, full health. I need to find uh, room number one or cabin number one, uh, to be precise. Because, oh, bloody hell, there's a lot of cabins. Okay, who's got something? Beds. Scan the bed, so I'm pretty sure I've already scanned a double bed. So that's like a single bed, but better. So I'm not really sure why I'd bother with all of this. Blueprint acquired. Now, presumably, at least one of these rooms is going to be mine, right? No, not necessarily. Like, I'm pretty sure I saw the crew was like 500. This is just seven cabins. So uh, this might not have been like, you know, my wing or whatever. Also, this may just be a reused asset, but I can't help but notice that um, in every cabin and in every locker, there's a picture of the same girl, which leads me to speculate on some form of a terrifying corporate future where everyone is given, like, you know, a corporate assigned but entirely fictitious girlfriend image to have with them during those lonely deep space nights. And oh, bloody hell, that's nightmarish. Okay, here we go. Captain's quarters and uh, room number one. And hang on. Do I know the code for the captain's quarters? I don't think I do. Hang about. Just do the room I do know. This one was 1869. So yeah, this guy was the... Uh, yeah, he was the prawn operator or whatever. So, uh, okay, water. Here we go. PDA. This has got to be important. Or possibly it's just flavor. So, okay. Um, in the Altera corporate nation, everything is a nightmare and relationships are commodities that are bought, sold, negotiated, contracted, diddly diddly dee. Good, 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 good. Everything's a nightmare. Honestly, I'm starting to understand why my main character wants to just build a new life under the sea. Basically, anything's better than living in Altera. And there is, ooh, a cap. Okay, I'd need to leave behind food and water to take that, but obviously that's what I'm doing, yes. I shall take a blue cap with me. Beautiful. Though, what's even that? Oh, hang on. Is that a... Oh my goodness, it's a cuddly toy! If there's a code for the captain's quarters, I don't know where it is. Because yeah, all I've got is lab access, then life pod for transmission, which is... It's not really a code, but okay, yes, it's a clue. Then note to self, which is... Okay, hang about. 
There is... There's a four-digit number there. I'll give it a go. There's literally no zero. Okay, that's probably not the code, because there's no cocking zero on this pad. It was a good idea, but that, uh, that didn't work out, no. Well, we know there's pods out there we haven't seen yet, so it's possible one of them might contain the information I need. But as far as I can see, I think at this point, I've explored uh, literally everything. That's, uh, that's all I've got. So, uh, alright, back to the uh, Seamoth, which I can now Arcanamic better. Don't forget, you've got a new part for that, so... Uh, Okay, life is sexy. Okay, but don't forget about the shortcut at the rear. So, uh, if and when I get that code, uh, then I can make it back here nice and easy. I'm just going to do uh, one last check for codes, but I have not seen anything. And generally, they're like, you know, uh, glowing and pretty bloody obvious. Alright, back to the moth. Now, just take her out to the left. And then get the flip out of dodge. Uh, getting back into uh, the shallows. Uh, as fast as possible. Alright, just keep your eyes open. Where's Monster McGee? I don't see him. Alright, it seems like a pretty good time to just GTFO. Alright, just fast as you like. Get around the back, take a left. I've never seen him round in that direction. So I think, as soon as we're back here, we should be okay, right? Today, nice and calm. Love it. Alright, back into friendly waters, right by home. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. Creature decoy. Found this right at the beginning. So, uh, yeah, I can make that now. That's exciting. It lures a creature to its location. Well, creatures, actually. So, uh, alright, not sure how big we're talking. No idea whether that's useful against, you know, uh, Snakey McGee or not. But other than that, we've learnt a lot, but maybe we haven't actually learned that many new schematics, though. Yes, I know the radio wants me. This is an automated distress signal from Life Pod 12. Coordinates attack. Warning, Life Pod has sunk beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, when you say D, how deep are we talking? 1,500 in that direction, so from this distance, kind of hard to tell. Okay, not sure. Oh, hang on. 250 meters. I can do 250 meters. All right, especially ask John. John, 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 John. Don't forget one of the most single important things you found during that entire session. It's time to dump the module into the Seamoth. Yes. So, okay, hang about. Oh, 300 meters. I was expecting, like, you know, 250. Oh, now that's... Buddy, we have got you sorted. No trouble, aside from the fact you're... Which direction is that? Hang about. It's... Oh. It's the far side of... It's the far side of the ship. That's definitely Snakey McGee territory. Well, you know what? We'll give it a go. Because mostly what I've seen is, yeah, Snakey McGee is the far side of that thing. I've never really seen him on this side. That does seem to be some distance away. I know power's getting really low, by the way. I do have a spare power cell on me. I'm not sure I've ever really been in this direction before. Because, hang about, yeah, that's, that's Mushroom Forest over there. But, alright, just, it's night, which I don't necessarily like. But yeah, light's on. Right, some please. Not sure if that, like, you know, uh, oh, maybe draws more attention. I mean, right now, we're only at, like, uh, yeah, 75 meters. That's a basic sand show. That's nothing. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about any of this. Just keep on keeping on. Hang on, what even is that, though? Okay, obviously, I'm still going to be interested in all of this. Nuclear waste disposal? All right, always enjoy learning about new stuff, all right? There's actually more stuff. I know how to do that now. Okay, I'm getting more out of this little trip than I got out of my entire bloody looting of the Aurora. All right, back on the move. A couple of them nice little whales are chilling out. The ocean is getting deeper. All right, where are we going right now? I've seen you guys before, 125. Yeah, the purple things, I've seen them. Oh, hang on. Another mushroom. 
Okay, and you guys, yes, you live around the mushrooms. So, okay, I found another mushroom forest. You guys are chill. All right, live and let live with you bastards. We're already... Oh, I kind of just rammed a mushroom. Didn't mean to. That was a mistake. But, like, you know, it's fine. Ship's still holding integrity pretty well. And, yeah, 174 descending. Oh, don't even care anymore. We're golden. So, here we go. There's a... Oh, blimey. Are you a big... No, I've seen one of you before. You guys will defend your territory. But, well, okay, defend territory is not great either. Oh, blimey, hello. Ooh. There's stuff going... Oh, blimey, there's wibbly stuff. Okay, there's there's electromic jibbles. There's electric eels that presumably... Are they interested in me? Maybe lights off. I don't want to draw attention to myself. Okay. I've also... John, you're not wearing the rebreather. You didn't bother wearing that, did you? Okay, I want to see if I can scan the local wildlife. All right, let's start with the plants. That's nice and easy. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. And yeah, oxygen's going to go right down. A common bulb bush. Give you a scan, buddy. I'm going to be needing my knife as well, potentially. Okay, I'm seeing you showing an interest in me. You are an amp eel. Could just said electric eel, to be honest, but okay. Keep scanning it, keep scanning it, keep scanning it. I can only scan the head. Okay, I've got to scan the head. The body doesn't... Come, come back here, you. Come, come the flip back here. Oh, bloody hell. Right, it doesn't want to be scanned. It doesn't want... There we go. Please don't electrocute me, though. I, I just want to scan you for, like, science and possibly murder. Okay, nip back into the bloody thing. This thing's a bit on the fast side, so uh, there we go. Get him. Get straight back out again. Don't try and stab it. All right, it seems to be mostly chill with just eating little fish and, like, not, not me. So there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We got it. Almost got up. There we go. One ampule. Now, back inside the... Please don't zap my... Please don't eat me either. Okay. Got enough time to scan the big lads. All right, you are... Large. Oh! Oh, hello! Hello, 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 hello. Sorry, excuse me. No trouble. I just want to scan this. Okay, I can't scan this. Can I get a sample off it? I got a sample. Right, that'll do. Get, get back in the pod. I think I'm safe from the pod. Alright, we got a sample of whatever this is. And... Okay, I can eat it. It's not created any... Anything. I think it's close, actually, because I just heard a, a fizzle. Yep, there we go. Okay, leave these guys alone. No trouble. Oh, this thing's almost out of power. Okay, this is this is fine. This is a good time for me to have to do, you know, uh, power things. It, it, it's okay. So take that. And now plug that in. There we go. Right. Power is now resolved. Should have changed power before this, but whatever. Uh, this has also been damaged by... Okay, there's a big shark over there, but it's fine. Just get the, get the repair tool. Okay, I was not properly prepared for this journey, but that's fine. Give you a scan. Oh, not scan. No, opposite of scan. Give it a repair. There we go. Fixed up. So you, buddy, crash next to, yeah, a little volcano McJibble. Any chance we got something useful? Like, say, oh, Life Pod 12, a log. Any chance I could have, like, I don't know, say, Captain's Quarters key code? Nothing dramatic. He was a doctor and he got infected. So, okay. Fair enough. He was actually a fake doctor anyway. And then he died down here. Though, what did you actually... I'm not seeing anything useful in your pod, which is a little bit on the... No, don't swim to surface. That there, that'd be a terrible idea. Just get back in the cocking pod. All right, it's fine. Okay, well, there must be... No, oh, no, 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 no. No trouble. No trouble, buddy. No trouble. Check for parts around here. Well, there's... Oh, hang on. Okay, I've got to check what that is. That looks like sandstone, like basic sandstone. But this deep down might be something good. No, it is just sandstone. Though I will never say no 
to silver while I'm passing, you know, straight by. Any chance of silver? That's lead. I don't need that as much. Silver would be good. I'll take some silver. More silver. Brilliant. And, oh, hang on. Ruby. I needed that for something. Uh, making like a special gel or something. So, okay, possibly precious gems are more likely to appear immediately around volcanic eruption. And it's a bit hot here, apparently. It's okay, there's some gold. Didn't really need the gold, but that's, that's fine. Is that shale, by the way? That is, that's some shale. I'll take, you don't need lithium, John. You've got cocking loads of that. It's fine. Okay, get away from that. Okay, there's now a giant electric creature between me and my pod. And I'm also... It's fine. I think it's time to go, actually. I think I've decided I'm, I'm done with this area. Let's let's GTFO. On the way out, just do a little scan. But I'm not seeing any sign of, uh, yeah, uh, components, anything. I think we're fine. And in terms of the ampeel, now we've got time to look at it. Nothing dramatic, to be honest. Uses electricity, can bite you. Just give it some distance. Okay, so between pods at 12, 13, 17, 19, and 3. And I'm in... No, and 4. And I got 4 as well. That means I'm up to 6 of the 8 pods that got away. But I'm one of those pods. So that should mean there's only one remaining. And if we're very lucky, speak of the devil. This is Altera HQ. May be your only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just gonna have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're computer. Doing a sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's the leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the the regular. The regular. Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be. If she doesn't. Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay. The if code. I say regular, she's like, "What's the regular?" I have to come all the way back up here. The code should be two six seven nine. The regular is just a ham and cheese. Okay. Would you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese. Okay. okay. So that would have been useful, maybe cooking ten minutes ago. All right, but all right, fine. I'm going back to the captain's quarters. We're wrapping up the bloody Aurora today. On the plus side, yeah, this should now be much easier to do because I've got that shortcut open. So, okay, I'll see you at the quarters in a second. Assuming you don't get eaten on route. Here we go. Back at the Aurora, not eaten. And that shortcut's going to make this nice and easy. Here we go. One at Captain's Quarters. Now open and... This better be really bloody good. So, all right. What do we got? Number one, data. Secret Captain data. Oh, hello, Conking Sexy. So they asked for rescue, and Altera said, we ain't rescuing ya, but here's a schematic for a spaceship. Okay, I've now got not just the prawn suit. I can make a cocky spaceship. Okay, this is how we get out of here. Also, I'm taking the model with me. And the knowledge of how to make shelves to display all my toys. Oh, this is just getting better and better. Okay, so that... I believe it is one completely looted Aurora. So, okay. The big stuff, of course, is the vehicles. Let's go keep an eye on all of that. And once again, straight out. Eyes open. But yeah, if you're just going to come in through that crack and then just uh, tack along the edge of the ship. Honestly, I almost never see Sneaky McGee. So, I think this is a pretty good way in and out. Oh, here we go. Prawn suit. Plasteel ingot. And not to make that, that's just titanium and lithium, though quite a lot of it. Aerogel. I think I know how to make that too. That is, uh, yeah, that kind of sticky stuff I found by the guy who was the captain. But, okay, that stuff and a ruby. Now, I've just found a ruby. And I think I've got a theory as to where they come from. Enamel glass, diamonds and lead, that's fine. Okay, I can make a prawn suit... Though I still can't make the Cyclops because advanced wiring. But okay, we'll get to that. Neptune escape rocket. Now that's got to be platform. Titanium and got. Well, that's easy. That's super easy. In fact, I might just build that just so I feel... John, you get shot down. You can't take off the gun shoot shoot. Okay, maybe don't worry about escape just yet. I need to end the quarantine, which I know how to do. I just need to be... Yes, not infected, then go to the base I found last time, push the button, then the quarantine's off and I can go. But until then, all of that's for nothing. 
So it looks to me like, yes, next time, ladies and gentlemen, our priority is moving over to the acquisition of rare resources. All right, I need gems and plasteel and all sorts of bits and pieces. I think by the end of next time, we're not going to be pottering around in a little seamoth anymore. No, 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 no. It's time for power armor. It's time for cocking massive submarines. And possibly I should get around to making a base. Because I still haven't actually made a base. So, join me next week as we begin the hunt for the various materials. And I'm pretty sure the bloody radio is... The bloody radio, dear oh dear. For an abandoned planet with only me on it, the radio's really bloody active. So, we'll see what the radio's got to say to me uh, at the start of next time. Uh, and then uh, the great crafting begins. Hopefully, you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Subnautica. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Jebediah Kerman has not exploded. Oh shit. What did that happen? Five, four, three. Oh, I forgot to turn the thrust on. Five, four. Is everything else? How is everything? Up to that point, that was going better than anyone expected.